vehicles. No way. And yeah, here it comes. It's him. <laughs> All right. Hey, man. Hey. Hello. Hi, John. Well, so I decided to join us. Yeah. I want to just introduce myself formally. Pleasure. Neve, just Justin. Yes. Gary's just like your fan fiction name. We're just clearing that up. Mm -hmm. Justin, Shan. Hi. Hello. And of course, Angela. Hello. Hi. You know. Hi. Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Yeah, sure. Nice to meet you. Uh, as Neve has probably already explained, I'm cribblingly nervous about everything. Uh, uh, I appreciate you coming out, though. You're right, and I did think it would only be proper to at least come out and actually greet you and everything. Um, I have been really, I mean, I'm not sure everything that's been discovered, but uh, going through ending a previous relationship has, you know, put me in a certain spot where I just figuring out my next step in life. Justin, can I just ask you a couple of questions just to clear some things up? Sure. You said your previous relationship. Are you talking about your marriage? You were married, right? Yeah. Okay, and that's over now. You're fully broken up. Yeah. Similar to you, Angela just came out of a very long-term relationship that was heartbreaking. You're really the first person that she's engaged with since this big devastation in her life. And I think I'd be curious to know from what your perspective is, what, how you felt. You know, I try not to expect too much out of people to avoid being hurt. Um, so I'm kind of in just this middle ground of just, I find someone to talk to, we talk, and it just be something where I'm just not looking for anything or, or expecting anything. From what Angela remembers initially, after you had commented on her, one of her TikToks, you had said, oh, we should meet up. At that moment, when you asked her, like, were you serious about meeting up or? Yeah, I was. You were. But, I mean, you don't really expect anything. You kind of just doesn't really mean anything. So you, you know, you, you didn't just necessarily kinda, think it would happen. Right, uh, I didn't. Um, it's nothing new. I've, I've always been like this, even with my close friends. I, I, I don't always go through with uh, decisions. Right. Not that I lied about anything, but mm -hmm. I also... Um, you sugarcoated it. Like, you, you keep me coming back for conversation. Yeah, I tried, I I tried to, my best in that. I was satisfied do, yeah. with the conversations also. It, it was uh, relieving to get the good morning, the good evenings, or how are you doing? That's why I was so comfortable about the whole situation. And that's just genuinely, you know, that's, that is genuinely me, but uh, right now I just don't know what I think. I don't have any, um, I don't have any concrete idea of where I'm going. But I do think there's a big difference when we're trying not to hurt people. We create loose boundaries for who we might be rather than setting clear boundaries for who we know we are today. So I think it could be really impactful and powerful for you is just set a clear boundary of maybe I have to stop down, heal for myself. I'm not looking to date right now, but I am happy to have met you. Yeah, um, I definitely value um, our chatting and our friendship. I don't see anything for the time being. That would be the most sincere I could be about it. I get that, I understand. How about you, and Andrew? What, what, where are you feeling now that you guys are finally? I, I can't see me be, you know, not being friends with him. I can't see me saying, I don't want to speak to you ever again right now. I'm still open to being friends, and I totally uh, thank you for coming and putting yourself out there. But like I said, I learned a lot, and I, I do appreciate you coming and explaining this to me in person. I'm happy we met. Me too. Okay. Okay, so then I think we can head back. Um, so we can move move on from all of this. Sorry if I was a little pushy, but I really felt like it was the right thing. I'm glad you chose the way you did. Right. Yeah. We all got to kind of get through this together. So, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. And I'm just happy you guys are going to stay in touch. Yes. This was my first time on the case. It was an honor. I can't believe you're actually the real person. So 
This is very, very fascinating. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. It was a well. pleasure. Thanks again. No problem. <laughs> Drive safe. Thank you. Take care. See you. So what do you think? Um, I don't know, but I can see me being uh, friends with him. Yeah, stay in touch. I don't think pursuing any kind of relationship, mm. but you know, hey, who knows? Well, this was an adventure. You guys taught me a lot about myself and um, what I need to do to move forward. Thank you guys for showing me the finest that New Jersey has to offer. Angela included. Thank you. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.